This is an early evaluation of our climate project data, a project also known as the Post-2012 Earth Changes Project that was conducted at the Farsight Institute in early 2008. This project is an attempt to use remote viewing to describe physical changes on the Earth in various locations around the globe between the time periods June 1, 2008 and June 1, 2013. Now it is also a further exploration into the idea of there being multiple realities, multiple universes, or alternate timelines, an increasingly popular idea in physics that was initially raised by the physicist Hugh Everett in 1957 and that we explored in depth in a different year-long project conducted at the Farsight Institute titled the Multiple Universes Project. The results of this latter project were published in an important peer-reviewed scientific journal and can also be found on the Farsight Institute's website. Now, in the remote viewing data collected for the climate change or post-2012 Earth Changes project, the remote viewing sessions appear to describe one or more meteor or asteroid-related events affecting Earth prior to June 1, 2013. It is very significant that in the middle of February 2013, a large meteor exploded over Russia within just a few hours of the passing of a very large asteroid, the so-called DA-14 asteroid, and within just a few thousand miles of the Earth, barely missing the planet. Now, the meteor that exploded over Russia caused a great deal of damage and personal injury, and we have not seen as significant a meteor impact on Earth since the Tunguska event that flattened a large swath of Siberia over 100 years ago in 1908. CNN reports that the probability of both a meteor of the size that just hit Russia and a near miss of a large asteroid such as DA-14 happening just a few hours apart is less than one out of 100 million. Well, according to the theory of multiple universes or timelines, everything that exists is essentially a frequency-based hologram, not something unique and solid. Which version of reality we see depends on something like an average base frequency or quantum signature, something that is unique for any one particular perceived reality. Thus, there is no one single version of anything that we see. Again, according to this theory, everything, including us, exists as what a mathematician might describe as probabilistic smears. Now, since the asteroid DA-14 passed so close to Earth from a probabilistic perspective, it is likely that across various timelines or alternate realities, there are versions of us and our planet in which the asteroid DA-14 did, in fact, impact Earth, and there are other versions of us in which the same asteroid passed even farther away from Earth, causing no damage and not even a scare. With remote viewing, it is not easy to control for which version of a future reality is perceived when trying to predict details relating to that future with precision, an issue that does not affect perceiving targets that are located in the past or present for reasons that I have spoken and written about elsewhere. Remote viewing can, however, more easily be used to predict general ideas relating to the future. The climate or post-2012 Earth Changes Project remote viewing data essentially describe a meteor or asteroid-related event or set of events on our planet prior to June 1, 2013. These remote viewing data were published in June 2008, five years prior to 2013 and long before the discovery of asteroid DA-14 in 2012. Now we can say that an event involving two space bodies, one hitting Earth and the other passing within a hair's width of the planet, has just now occurred in the middle of February 2013. This is in correspondence with the essence of our remote viewing results. Thus, 
we can most likely conclude at this point that the meteor and asteroid events of February 2013 are probably at the root of the remote viewing data involving the impact of what appear to be space bodies prior to June 1, 2013. Since these are such rare events, no further impacts should be expected between February 2013 and June 1, 2013, and thus most of the physical damage that is described in the remote viewing data that is associated with the impact idea, especially damage related to tsunamis that result from such impacts when they occur in water, should not occur in our current timeline trajectory. This is exactly the type of thing one should expect when remote viewing future events under the hypothesis of multiple realities or timelines. There will be very significant variation across the various realities, but also similarities. There are other remote viewing data in our climate or post-2012 Earth Changes project that do not relate to meteors or asteroids. It is indeed a climate study. We need to wait until June 1st, 2013 in order to fully evaluate these data. But for now, the probability of further meteor or asteroid issues prior to June 1st, 2013 appear to be extremely small. Let us be patient as we calmly wait until June 1st, 2013 in order to more fully evaluate these remote viewing data in what has become a truly fascinating remote viewing experiment. I'm Courtney Brown, director of the Farsight Institute.